what do we have here? I actually got one of the most important documents in rock and roll history. The contract between Brian Epstein, who is the manager, and the Beatles creating the partnership between the two of them. You have the original Beatles contract. Yep. That's a big wow factor right there. What's really unique, it had to be signed by two of the parents, James McCartney and Harold Harrison, because at the time, both of them were under 21. The articles hereby appoint the manager to act as their manager throughout the world for a period of five years from the first day of October 1962. And the agreement basically states what Brian Epstein's cut would be, including vaudeville, concerts, movies, merchandise. The Beatles actually got paid a lot less than he did. <laughs> he got a ridiculous management amount. He got 25%. Exactly, that's okay? what this says. But the entire contract wasn't going to be valid until Brian Epstein actually got them a record deal. That is correct. Brian Epstein was a genius. He basically transformed the Beatles from an unknown band playing small clubs into the biggest rock band ever. When he died, he couldn't be replaced, and it played a large role in the Beatles breaking up. To actually have his original contract in front of me is surreal. Okay, how much do you want for it? A million dollars. Um, that's a lot of money. I'm gonna call my guy. I just wanna make sure that everything is 100% cool before we start talking price. You know, I can imagine someone spending a ridiculous amount of money to make a brand new one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand. All right. Hang out. I'm going to get him down here momentarily. Thanks. This contract is legendary. Some people consider it the most important document in the history of rock music. If this thing checks out, I will do what I have to do to get it. Now that's cool. I've heard about this piece before. It's been well documented. People want Beatles stuff. Autographs, stuff, lyrics, you name it. You know, the, the stuff they wore on stage. The Beatles are always number one. In terms of their signatures, I mean, they're still the most sought after. It's not uncommon to have them together, but on a contract, that's a pretty rare piece in itself. I'm gonna start off at the top with John Lennon. I'm just looking for live ink. I'm looking for overlapping. And the overlapping is where it gets darker. Yeah, it starts to get darker. You could see one pen stroke go over the other. I see no reason to believe at all that this is printed, it's not a stamp, it's not a copy or anything. These are definitely live signatures on here, so that's a good thing. Okay. That's a very good thing. Absolutely. You have some really early signatures of the Beatles. So what I've done here is I've tried to pull out some super early stuff that I have on file. What I'm starting to look at here, letter formations and overlapping. The Harrison signature is just, you know, very early signature for him. John Lennon wouldn't sign John W. Lennon as a signature. He'd never do it for someone in person. But this is a pretty unique situation. But I'm still seeing a lot of the same similarities here, especially in the double ends here. So these are all very good signs. All right. So is it real? I mean, based on everything I've seen here, there's no question that this is genuine. It's awesome for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all cool. I mean, um, what's it worth? I'd put the value of this piece right at around $500,000. All right, so you're still stuck at a million? Um, I really got to get a million. I don't it's see something it. about history here. You know, and when you start talking that money, there's very few people in the world that have that much money. I totally agree. OK. If I bought it from you, I have to put it in auction. Mm -hmm. so they charge me 14 15%. I mean, you're not going to like my price. I mean, I pay like 350 for it. You know, I have to look at it. I, I think I can probably get a half million dollars for it. You know what? That's, that's an incredible offer, but I'm really going to have to stick to a million dollars. I could probably take it to one of the major auction houses tomorrow. And I really believe that I could probably get a million dollar reserve on this. Um, OK, you take the risk. I would go 350. That's cash right now. If you don't take that, I would wait for another auction. Um, I'm going to have to decline on the 350. Good luck with it. I appreciate it. Thanks very much. I'm disappointed I couldn't make a deal. I really wanted to sell it today, but I really had to find the right buyer. Today just wasn't it.